sight or what? Oh, go on. What's going on guys, Borosh and I'm back with a brand new video. I know it's been a while, it's been a week since I've actually uploaded my last video, ever since the Obey RC and the constant stream for The Last of Us 2 and uploading all those videos. I just kind of wanted to take a little break, you know, just relax a little bit. And uh, my friends, uh, like my friends slash roommates family came by, and uh, so there's a bunch of them here and uh, I just didn't want, like the internet was already strained quite a bit, I was lagging just playing by myself, so if I was streaming and playing it'd just be super laggy streams and stuff, so I just didn't want that. But that's besides the point, I'm back with here with a brand new video. We're here with the brand new sniper and these are the best attachments that I would be running for multiplayer and uh, I'll talk about the Warzone attachments in a minute. So for, because you want the best ADS honestly uh, with this gun because it is a it is a sniper rifle so it's quite slow uh, if you don't have all the ADS stuff on it. But when you do put it all on it's not bad, it's pretty solid as you can tell from the intro clips they said at the beginning of the video. Um, so for the barrel, you got the F TAC 448 millimeter dictator. You got your TAC laser. That's always a must for any sniper. You got the stock, which is the Stovall TAC wrap. Your perk is sleight of hand. The re the flinch on it is insane. So you might want to push. Uh, like why might want to think about putting on uh, focus. That might be very very necessary. Uh, if not focus and you're confident with your shot, definitely do sleight of hand and because the reload is very slow also and of course the bullet grip tape that's pretty much the move for multiplayer it's really really good in multiplayer and then i'm running it with you know the secondary would be my car 98 uh, i've got a couple videos on the car 98 for the attachment got quick fix overkill and eod is a good option for quick fix thermite's good for ride shield users and stim is just just in case you know pop and off it's one of the stim all right so those are the best attachments for um multiplayer however for warzone it's not entirely the best weapon for warzone you're really better off using con 98 ax50 hdr if you want to snipe um personally uh i wouldn't go and use this uh it's not a one-shot headshot in warzone and that's kind of what you really want it's a two-shot headshot however it does have explosive rounds and thermite round so every mag even just a normal mag it's five bullets and with the thermite you know it's not bad because if you hit you can break away at their shield but it's not enough damage right uh, in terms of war zone um you'll probably be able to if you can like hit them in the head you'll probably be able to break shield with that and then maybe with the thermite you'll like burn them down but it's not something that's worth worth taking because you lose ammo reserve bullet velocity recoil control and fire rate so it just makes it a lot slower of a weapon to use aside from the ads so it's not something you want and then the explosive rounds it's just like it's it's only good against like vehicles it's like uh trophy system doesn't work against it so you can if someone has got a trophy system on their vehicle you could still impale their vehicle uh, and, and it's like three shots i think to like a, one of those four person buggies um, and you can take out a, a bug with three shots, so it's not bad. You can take out a whole squad that way, which is pretty good. But again, I wouldn't recommend it for Warzone, but that would be something you might want to consider. And then for your barrel, you probably want the longest barrel. Um, probably this guy, to be honest. If not, you probably take take off this barrel. Um, hold on, you probably take out this barrel. Maybe use the base barrel, but I don't know how beneficial that'd be. You probably want the most damage range, especially since it's not a one-shot headshot. So you probably want the F tac seven straight, anyways. Um, and then for the muzzle, probably this too, uh, for the increase of damage range as well, on top of uh, the long barrel too for Warzone. Um, again, it just makes it slower and not something I'd recommend and you're way better off using the a ax50 and car 98 especially since they buffed those in terms of damage range for both of them and the ax50 got an ads boost so they're honestly your best options uh, this update if you don't already know had a major sniper um buff a lot of the snipers got buffs like in the marksman rifles which is really nice dragonov 
kind of got a buff, but also is now a two shot hit apparently. But yeah, that's the brand new sniper. It's like the Barrett 50 cal. It's kind of blank, honestly, when you play with it in game and stuff. Like it's just, there's nothing special to it. It doesn't look crazy or anything. It's just big and powerful, which is nice. Um, also for the ammunition stuff in multiplayer, I mean, the guns are already a one shot, so it's kind of useless. However, if there's people around, the explosive rounds can be useful in a sense because if there's people around you can just kill one guy and the recoil damage will kill the other guy or damage the other guy badly so if you can shoot it's like a grenade launcher almost in a sense because this is on impact it explodes it doesn't have to hit somebody if it just hits the floor it'll explode so if you just shoot around someone you know you might be okay but yeah like i said that's the new sniper it's pretty good i actually enjoyed playing it like you see from the earlier clips that was all done in day one when the gun dropped i was gonna upload this video yesterday but i got i wanted to have a gameplay to follow up but unfortunately that's not the case um it's because it's a hard a little bit difficult to use but i managed to like pop off using it the first day i just didn't pop off yesterday but i also played a lot of warzone i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys uh like the attachments and able to pop off and hit some clips and uh also there's a ton of you who watch my videos but aren't subscribed so if you're one of those people that are watching and not subscribed i would greatly appreciate if you subscribe to my youtube channel and yeah and my link to my twitch will be in the description but i won't start streaming till like monday um i also have summer classes coming up so i don't know how much i'll be streaming but hopefully um i finish my schoolwork in a good amount of time that i can make time for streaming because that's what i want to do and uh yeah so Make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, share it to your friends, I'd greatly appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.